With us now is Florida Democratic Congresswoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz. Congresswoman, it's always a pleasure to see you. I thank you for thank your you, time. Sir. What do you make of Trump's idea of wholesale recess appointments? I mean, I agree. It is anti-constitutional and, and authoritarian and wholly undemocratic. Uh, not surprising coming from someone who has really nominated the most extreme, dangerous cabinet in history. I mean, we're talking Star Wars bar level craziness. And I mean, if you go pick by pick, not only are each of them many of them individually unqualified, they should be disqualified. And so uh, this is a man who is setting us on a course towards danger and the American people being put in jeopardy. And he's asking for unfettered approval from the Senate by not having to be required to have them review his choices. It's unacceptable. So let's let's uh, I want to get your read on some of those choices, if I could. Uh, let's start with Matt Gates, uh, former congressman, uh, Florida congressman, um, to be attorney general. What do you make of that? It, it's breathtaking in its in its extremism. I mean, Matt, Matt Gates has no experience whatsoever uh, with the Department of Justice, other than being a subject of investigation for trafficking, uh, sex trafficking minors. I mean, that, that's his experience with the Department of Justice. And, you know, I mean, we're talking about someone who would be responsible for the entire system of justice who has been an investigated by the system of justice and has no other experience other than that. It is an extreme, outrageous nomination and one that obviously I think should be defeated. Uh, and let's talk about uh, former Hawaii Democratic Congresswoman I mean, Tulsi Jose, Gabbard to be just, director. Let, let yeah. me, sorry, let me just add Please. something else. I, I mean, because this is an extremely important appointment. I mean, you wouldn't trust Matt Gates. Most parents wouldn't trust Matt Gates with their teenager, never mind with our entire system of justice. So, I, I mean, for the president to nominate him to be in charge of our entire system of justice is, is really dangerous. And I just want to underscore that. All the time to uh, get your perspective, of course, uh, out there. I want to ask you about former Hawaii Democratic Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard to be director of national intelligence. You have a history with the former Congresswoman. What do you think of her being tapped to be director of national intelligence? Uh, Tulsi Gabbard is someone who has met with war criminals, violated the Department of State's guidance, and secretly, clandestinely went to Syria and met with Assad, who gassed and attacked his own people with chemical weapons. She's considered to be, essentially, by most, uh, by most assessments, a, a Russian asset and would be the most Is that how you dangerous. consider her? Is that what you oh, consider yes. her? Oh, yes. Uh, there's no question. I consider her someone who is likely a Russian asset, who would be, be, be as the DNI responsible for managing our entire intelligence community, hold all of our most significant intelligence information and secrets, and essentially would be a direct line to our enemies. And so I, I, I the, the irresponsibility of these appointments and the disregard. I get he wants to break heads. I get that presidents have uh, have the, the right to make appointments. But that is why there's an advise and consent role by the United States Senate and one that they should very carefully and uh, and thoroughly use. And you know, let me not let me not suggest that all of his appointments so far have been irresponsible. Marco Rubio and I, you know, he's a United States senator from from our home state, Jose. And you know, I don't agree with with, with the senator on on the lot, but we've worked closely together, particularly on issues around Venezuela and Maduro and Cuba and Israel. And so, you know, that's that's a pick. Certainly, I have disagreements, but one where you can sort of wade through those disagreements and find common ground. And Mike Waltz as well, um, decorated veteran, someone who has uh, the understanding, the patriotism, the experience. Um, again, we don't agree, but him managing our national security uh, apparatus and policy, uh, that, that's a pick that is well within the bounds of a president's right 
to point who he uh, who he would like to, but breaking the system of justice, you know, appointing a guy like R RFK Jr., who is an anti-vaxer, who uh, who believes that you know the the theories of conspiracy theorists, uh, that is a danger to to the, na the national health system.